What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing you a Hisuian Electrode and Overquill Rain team. We, I built this team together with my friend Evan for one of Zach's Reg A++ tours, which is Regulation H, and I gotta tell you, we cooked up some crazy stuff here. What we've got is this Hisuian Electrode, you may have seen this before, is so fast that it's actually faster than this Scarf Annihilate, so you can use Loaded Dice Bullet Seed to stack up Rage Fist. And this Annihilate is also Stellar Terra, so if you Stellar Terra, you can get one really, really strong Rage Fist right away. Or you can use the Stellar Terra to boost Shadow Claw to KO a lot of Golden Ghosts. Or you can use Stellar Terra to boost Close Combat to KO a lot of our Chaladons on turn one. It's a really strong combo. What else pairs with Bullet Seed? Our Chaladon here with Stamina Body Press. You get four or five Bullet Seeds, four or five Defense Boosts, and Body Press goes crazy. And then, since it's in our Chaladon, we threw on a rain combo. We Here we've got Timid, Max Speed, Stellar Terra Pelipper, with Tailwind, Weatherball Hurricane, standard stuff. The Timid, I feel like, comes in really clutch. A lot of people are just EVing to catch Modest Pelipper, but do note that you'll do a little less damage, but Stellar Terra makes up for it. We also have Overquill here, which is kind of a scary set. It's Terra Water Liquidation to do some big damage, really fast with Swift Swim Life Orb. Uh, and it's also our Haze user, but it doesn't have Protect, so you've got to be a little careful with it. And then finally, a Rillaboom. Assault Vest is already on the Archaladon, so this thing has a Miracle Seed. And since we're going Miracle Seed Offensive, we're just going full offensive with Terra Grass Miracle Seed. You can do some crazy Grassy Glide Okos with this thing. But anyways, I'm entering this into the Reg A++ Tour. Let's see how far I can go. All right, here we go, round one. We've got Dozo Geary, we've got Talonflame Golden Go, and we've got Glamora and Palmot. All right, I need my Haze over Quill in the back. I need to set up Rain with Pelipper. I probably want to bring a Rillaboom, and finally our Chaladon. I don't think Annihilate or Electrode work very well because they have Tailwind. They could just Tailwind and blow them up. Uh, Rage Fist does work on Dondozo, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get that off because they're probably going to leave Talonflame Golden Go. So I think Rain, our Chaladon, Rillaboom, Overquill could work. Rain plus our Chaladon does pretty good into Golden Go. Rillaboom doesn't hit Golden Go much. So I think those are the ones I want out front. I think those are the four I'm bringing. We're gonna see what happens. Alright, good luck, have fun. Uh, playing with Dondozo. Okay, that's a cool trainer card. That's a really cool trainer card. Props to that trainer card. Alright, Palmot and Glamour. That's not the lead I expected at all. I'm not happy about that. Fake out, close combat, double shock. The Glamora is Power Herb with Earth Power, Meteor Beam, Sludge Bomb, Spiky Shield. Alright, uh, it could be just an Earth Power close combat into my Arch, it could be a Fake Out into Pelipper, it could be a Double Shock into Pelipper. It's a lot of scary things it could be. They have Sludge Bomb as well. I think I want to protect Pelipper just to keep my Sash safe. And probably bring in Rillaboom. Yeah, I think that's what I would need to do here. Then I'll at least have a fake out turn, and I should be able to get up Tailwind then. Uh, unless they hard read this and like close combat Sludge Bomb. Alright, in comes the Rilla, the shiny Rilla. Alright, so oh, we've got Terra already. Okay, it could be Talonflame Golden Go for them in the back then, because I would have thought they would save Terra for the Dondozo. But Terra Grass on the Glamora is interesting. Let me see. Alright, we get the Protect. They go for a Fake Out into Pelipper. Show me a Meteor, meteor Beam into Pelipper. That's what I would like to see the most. Here's a Meteor Beam. I don't think that would be into our Chaladon.
Now, I guess they could both outspeed. But they can't both attack. Because I'm going to get a fake out off. I think I want to fake out the Palmot. If they have Talonflame, Golden Go in the back, Rillaboom isn't very important. I would like to get Tailwind up right now. And I can do that by faking out Palmot. Glamora may even spiky shield here. Palmot does not have Protect and, and can't Terra. It wasn't Terra Ghost anyway. Yeah, I'll fake out the Palmot. No Protect from Glamora. Good play. We get the flinch, there's the sludge bomb. Rillaboom does not eat that. Fine. That is... Oh, it's a crit. Okay. I guess the crit is okay. And we get up our Tailwind. Alright. Now, do I want to bring in our Chaladon here? Do I want to risk bringing in Overquill? Overquill could come in and gunk shot. Our Chaladon could start boosting with Electro Shot, but Earth Power is scary. I think I need to bring in Overquill now. And I think Liquidation should actually take the Palmot, so I might just Hurricane. Do I want to Terra Hurricane? Against Golden Go, Talonflame. I could Hurricane, Terra Water Liquidation, the Palmot, just to be safe. That way, if a Sludge, if, if an Earth Power does come over here, we'd probably eat it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with. It's a defensive Terrastalization on my Overquill here. Okay, they withdraw Glamora into Tatsugiri. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so it probably is Dondozo in the last slot. Which would be pretty great here. Because if I can take out Palmot here and force them into it, that would be huge. Get the Haze off immediately. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Okay, I'm glad I went with this Terra. I, I wanted the defensive Terra on Overquill just in case they did bring Dondozo. All right, let's see how much Hurricane does to this Taxi Gary. Over half, perfect. Next one should KO if they don't go into Dondozo. I should check that they actually, okay, they do actually have Commander. Their Terra won't matter, their Scarf, they can't protect. And there's Glamora. Hurric yeah, Hurricane into Tatsugiri is basically what I need to do. I need to hit Tatsugiri. If they bring in Dondozo, they can't move this turn anyway. Glamora could Spiky Shield. Sludge Bomb, Meteor Beam, Earth Power. I don't think it KOs my Overquill. But I think I want to go for the Hurricane on Glamora and just Throat Chop the Tatsugiri. I think that's a little safer. I don't want to risk Gunk Shot. Okay, they protect They protect anyway on the Glamora. Interesting. Does this mean it's not Dondozo in the back? They're playing to try to stall Rain and Tailwind, it looks like. And Hurricane is blocked. Tatsugiri went down. Perfect. What do we got? Do we have Dondozo? Old Grundy is Dondozo. Great. Alright, in that case, Dondozo isn't do going to do much threatening. Let me check my turns. Rain last turn, Tailwind last turn, Grass last turn. I'm going to Hurricane and Throat Chop Lamora. Make sure it's gone. Because it just protected, it can't, it's unlikely to successfully do that again. Alright, Throat Chop does a lot of damage to it, actually. Toxic Debris is down, but 
Overquill's the only Pokemon I have on my team left that can get hit by that. I'll probably want to... Will I want to swap out Pelipper for Rain? Maybe. Just so I can Electro Shot later. And Order Up into Overquill does not much damage at all. Fine. Alright, my Tailwind is done. My Grass is done. My Rain is done. But I'm happy to bring in our Chaladon here. And go for Gunk Shot, I guess. My highest damage output. Battle's cancelled anyway. Yeah, that was over. GG's. Alright, this is a <laughs> round two I get paired with Evan. Evan's bringing the same team, so I, I know the team. Oh boy. Um, I think my plan into this has got to be Electrode Annihilate. I guess Overquill could mess that up. But Overquill can't really touch our Chalodon, so I'll bring our Chalodon. Oh man. I think Electrode Annihilate is pretty good into every lead except Pelipper Overquill. But Pelipper Overquill wouldn't be a good lead into our Chalodon. I feel like Evan is going to lean into our Chalodon. I don't know if it's going to be on lead. The question is whether I bring my own Pelipper. When Pelipper doesn't feel that great. I could, I could bring my Overquill and just count on Evan bringing rain. <laughs> I don't know, that's iffy. I do think Evan's gonna bring Pelipper. So I think I can take advantage of the rain that way. But Electrode Annihilate is the lead I want to lead. And if, if Evan brings the same thing, then I mean, we're just gonna speed tie and see what happens. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I'm terrified. I'm really truly terrified. This is so scary. Okay. All right, let's do it. Evan leads Electrode Archaladon into my Electrode Annihilate. Okay. Gotcha. Electrode is gonna try to side Bullet Seed to rack up those body presses. I could side bullets. I could try to go for the speed tie electro web, but I think at plus one, I'm not going to be able to knock out our Chaladon anyway. So I want to side bullet seed. And rage fist to there, our Chaladon. Alright, we did win the speed tie. We could have maybe gone for that, but I don't think it would have got us much. I guess we could have Electro webbed and then try to take out their Electrode. Yep, here comes the Staminas. Because you can't body press my Annihilate. You could Draco Meteor my Annihilate. But then you're going to be sitting at a lot of defense, but no special attack. Alright. They got four bullet seeds. Rage Fist. Should do okay damage. Does about a third. Gives them another stamina boost. Are they going to get rid of my Electrode? Yeah. Fine. I guess I could have Terra Ghosted, but didn't feel like it. I would love to haze with Overquill, but they they could Electro Web. Oh, but if they Electro, that's risky. Okay, do it. I'm gonna put in Overquill. I'm gonna threaten the haze to get rid of your defense boosts. And if you want to Electro Web, you're gonna have to give me Defiant, and then I'll get rid of the Electrode slot. Since Annihilate is going to move before Overquill anyway, I should focus down other things at the moment. 
So Rage Fist into their Electrode and try to pull off a Haze. They could definitely stop- okay, they stopped me with Taunt, fine. Forgot that it had Taunt. <laughs> Goodbye, Electrode, at least. Um, I don't know if I'm beating this Archaladon. Body Press is gonna take over, Quill. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? Bring in my Archaladon and let that die instead? Uh, I guess I should have focused Electrode earlier. There's the Overquill. Here is my Archalada. I, I can pro I could possibly live with Terra Grass. If I get the outspeed, Draco plus Rage Fist should definitely take Archaladon. Oh, why did I Terra? I should not have done that. <laughs> uh, Terra is fine if I can live a body press this way and lose the speed tie. I think Evan might have this one though, if Pelipper is last. Alright, here's my Rage Fist. I could just crit this and win. No crit. Now they're at plus six. Rope Chop into Ape, we eat. But if Pelipper is last... We're in a little bit of trouble. Ah, oh, we got lose the speed tie. That's really bad. We had to win the speed tie there, I think. There's Draco Meteor to get rid of our Chaladon. Um, if their last is Annihilate, there's gonna be speed tie shenanigans. If their last is Pelipper, oh, their last is Annihilate. Okay, there are speed tie shenanigans. <laughs> Neither of us <laughs> brought Pelipper. Uh, what's gonna be stronger, a body press or a Draco? Hard to say. I'm gonna go for the body press. I don't think either KOs over Quill. And I need to win the speed tie and Rage Fist or Annihilate. I lose the speed tie! Alright. You lose two speed ties. That's how the mirror goes, and they get a crit on Shadow Claw. All right, GG, Evan. Uh, just miss your gunk shot now, so I at least can hit you. Just throat chop. That won't KO. No. See, I could have lived that anyway. I got if I had got the out speed, and then Rage Fist would have picked up Overquill. I just needed to win one of those two speed ties. Well, probably the second one. I don't think winning the first one would winning the first one have changed it. Yeah, because then Annihilate and Overquill. They would have struggled to beat our Chaladon. Yeah, GG. Oh man. Well, that's how it goes. <laughs> you bring the same team, speed ties are gonna be really important. <laughs> GG. Alright, round three. We are up against Mouse 8, plus Pelipper, our Chaladon, Basque Legion, and a Sinistra. Incredibly scary team. My usual play into Mouse Ape would be Pelipper Overquill, because Overquill can outspeed the mouse and take it out. It is a goggled mouse. Um, but if they lead Pelipper Archaladon into that, I'm in big trouble. My own Archaladon is fine. In fact, I like my own Archaladon a lot. I think I do need to lead Pelipper Overquill. Archaladon in the back is good. I just need something to handle their Archaladon if things get out of control, and I don't really have anything for that. My Annihilate is not Final Gambit, it is close combat at least. Uh, but I would also be a little bit worried about Basque Legion, but I don't think Basque Legion is coming in this match. We have Arch and a Terra Grass Rillaboom. I think Grass Rillaboom scares Basque Legion away. So I think maybe it is Annihilate, but I would have to lock into like Shadow Claw or Close Combat. Then again, it could be Electro to try to position that next to my own Archaladon. That isn't the worst. You know what? I'm bringing Electrode. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm doing it. I'm hoping to see Mouse Ape first. If I see Mouse Ape in front, I'm very happy. 
because then I can just go for a liquidation. There's Darkrai. Very cool. Very cool card. On brain. Alright. Pelipper Mousehole. Okay. Okay. Our Pelipper set rain first. Ours is timid after all, so there's a good chance that that's just how that's happening. I'm happy to Tailwind. Their mouse has Beat Up Taunt, Follow Me, Protect. Do I want to Terrastalize? I think I should go Terra Water right away. Just because Weather Ball could be a problem. I want to match Tailwind. Terra Water Liquidate the mouse. Okay, we're not seeing a swap, that's good. The mouse could be protecting, though. I wouldn't be surprised. This Terra Water is basically just to protect me in case they Weather Ball, and also in case the mouse is super physically defensive, this'll help get the KO. Yeah, that gets the KO, perfect. Mouse is gone. We're off to a decent start. I'm still scared of our Chaladon, though. We get our Tailwind first. We've won a second speed tie, or we're just faster. I think we're just faster. Yeah, there's Tailwind. Okay. Pelipper, on their end, does have Protect. Same same moveset as us. Also Focus Ash, also Stellar. We're gonna see our Chaladon, aren't we? Riduradon? Yeah, that's Arch. Love it. Hate it. I think I want to... Do I want to hurricane their Pelipper slot? Yeah. And I could get Overquill out to Electrode. Electrode can definitely take an Electro shot. And then we can just focus down the right side, get our Chaladon all on its own, and then it can't take us all out. Especially if their last is Sinistra, just more support for the Archaladon. If their last is Basque Legion, we'll have to play around it, but it's Choice Band, so it might not be that scary. Okay, they let us hit it. Great. Took that Hurricane pretty well. Hurricane our Electrode, ouch. Ooh, and they double into that slot. Does Electrode go down to that? It does. It's a little scary. Time to bring in our own Archaladon. I want to start throwing Snarls to keep them down, but I also want an Electro Shot to boost me, so it's hard to say what should be done. Uh, Snarl can take out their Pelipper, but we're not going to be faster than their Pelipper. So I think we still need to target Pelipper with a Hurricane. And then who knows how the speed tiers are going are gonna to even out between the two arches. But I'm happy to Snarl first. Oh, I guess maybe it should be Electro Shot. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> oh boy. Pelipper protects. Okay. It was going to do that eventually. Maybe I should have read that. Because when I snarl, I'm not really doing anything. I am faster. That's big. I love being faster. But really, I'm just giving them a defense boost, because they're going to Electro Shot, right? Yes, they are. Into my Archaladon, though. That's interesting. You take that very easily. 
Last turn of Tailwind, two more turns of Rain. Uh, now I will Hurricane Pelipper. And I guess Electro shot their bridge, get myself a special attack boost. Uh, they swapped Pelipper, they want to keep the rain, maybe. Who is this? Sinistra comes in. Oh, onto a Hurricane? Love that. Hurricane shouldn't KO it, but that's pretty good. Yeah, very good damage. Living on a prayer. Okay, so if we were modest, we would have taken that KO. Great. And what's great is our, our Chaladon seems to be faster than theirs. I'm liking that a lot. Sinistra has Rage Powder. Love to keep that in mind. They're getting defense boosts too. This Electro Shot is into Pelipper. Okay. Live on our sash. Our tailwind is gone. Their tailwind is gone. They've got plus two defense and special attack. Yikes. I think I want to launch Weather Ball into their Archaladon, actually. Try to do as much damage as I can there, and just throw Snarl, which should be enough to knock out Sinistra. And slow down their Archaladon slay. <laughs> uh, slow down its damage. They could swap into Pelipper. I think Snarl takes that, too. But also, this the last turn of Rain? I don't think they want to bring in Pelipper. They seem to like having Rain. Yeah, they're letting us throw the Weather Ball. Okay. No swap. A little bit of damage into Arch there. I don't like how much their defense is getting boosted. But as soon as they knock something out, we can bring in over Quill and Haze. Get rid of all of their boosts and, and debuffs and... I don't know. That would also get rid of ours, though. <laughs> uh, body present to Pelipper, fine. Pelipper has done its job, and they're going to set Rain back up. Alright. I bring an Overquill, they have to bring a Pelipper. It's really the Arch v Arch fight here. And that's right, we are water type right now. A little bit awkward. Our Arch is plus one, plus one. Their Arch is plus four plus one. We go after Pelipper and Draco Meteor, their arch. They probably live, but that prevents them from getting Tailwind, and then we'd be faster, but then they could Tailwind next turn if they protect. I want to Liquidation and Draco Meteor their Archaladon. Make sure it goes down. They're gonna Terra their Archaladon into Grass. That doesn't change anything I'm doing. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Uh, I'm hoping they try to protect Pelipper here. They do not. So that could be a little odd. We get a little bit of chip with our Liquidation. Okay, no defense drop. Nope. Hurricane into our Overquill. That does not take us out. We get the Draco, and we take out Arch. Beautiful. That should be game. Woo! Okay, that was a tough one. Bridge v. Bridge. Ugh, I would have felt a lot better if I could have gotten a Bullet Seed into my Arch, but they doubled that slot. They wanted... I guess they saw Electrode coming and wanted to get rid of it.
All right, now we can just throw Chop Pelipper. That should take it out. And Rain's still up, so Electro Shot is fine. Throat Chop finishes off the Pelipper. Good job, Overquill. And our Chaladon and Pelipper. Not so much Electrode. <laughs> Electrode was there. Electro definitely appeared on the battlefield in this battle. <laughs> Didn't do so much. But anyways, GG's. That was a well-fought game. And you've got a cool trainer card. Alright, here we have a Palafin Pelipper Rain team with Salamence, Sarina, King Gambit, and Amoongus. Very cool team. I think our Chaladon does great here, as it usually does. Maybe I want to throw Bullet Seeds at our Chaladon. King Gambit would not appreciate that, but it is Terra Ghost. I also have to worry about if I'm throwing Electro Web about that King Gambit coming in. I probably want my own Pelipper. There's a couple good Hurricane targets. Rillaboom could be nice for their Palafin. Let me check. It is Terra Water. Uh, but Salamence completely shuts down Rillaboom. Salamence is a little scary, actually. Salamence is probably the scariest Mon they got. I guess I could have Overquill, but it'll get intimidated. But at least outspeed it in the rain, probably. Because they're Scarf. Annihilate is a no-go. Scarf Salamence would be faster. And just Hurricane us, and we're gone. Uh, I guess we could Pelipper Overquill. Not having Rillaboom is... Not having Rillaboom's fine. We have a Grass type. Yeah, I think not having Rillaboom's okay. They have Sarina to block our priority moves. Amoongus and King Gambit and Salamence can resist our moves anyway. We'll just have to see what they do. Okay, they're rocking Zoom Lens on the Sarina. That's cool. That's a cool tech. That's a cool card. They're really committing to the whole King Gambit thing. Palafin Pelipper. Okay. You brought the rain. I didn't need to. I'm totally cool with this. Uh, they have Hurricane and Weather Ball on their Pelipper. And Protect. I think I want to get my Bullet Seed while getting my Bullet Seed is good. The question is where I want to send the Electro Shot. Because I could try to catch a Switch, but it might be like... Amoongus? Or Sarina? But I would love to catch like a Salamence. But I guess if I Electro Shot the Pelipper, I still get the boost even if they protect. Alright, Palafin swaps into King Gambit. Ah, kinda wish I had gone for the Electro Shot there. But I'm getting all these defense boosts, so King Gambit's not gonna be able to keep up. I mean, it has Swords Dance. It does have. It is a Swords Dance King Gambit. going to want to Terra Ghost. Uh, Palafin does have Haze for these defense boosts eventually. Uh, then they throw Hurricane into Electro. That's great, actually. Oh no, we got confused. <laughs> Not great, great. Uh, but it's great that they didn't protect, so I can get the Electro shot damage. But now our Electrode could pretty easily get Sucker Punch, or just taken out by Pelipper because it's faster than Arch Paladon. I could swap Electrode if I think I need it for later, but with all the priority they have, I don't know if Electrode's going to be useful later. Like, I could bring in Overquill, but if I get hit by a Hurricane, I'm really upset. So I think I actually want to taunt King Gambit, try to stop that from doing any Swords Dance shenanigans. And I can throw another Electro Shot at the Pelipper. I think that's fine. If I get the Taunt off, that's great. Uh, yeah, of course they're going to Terra Ghost or King Gamma here. <laughs> You're sitting in front of a plus four Arch Hallet on the body press. You have to do that. I I'm not surprised by that at all. Put the little spooky on your head. All good. I, I wasn't even considering body pressing into that, seeing the Terra Ghost. Electro gets the taunt, that's great. Not only can they not Swords Dance here, they also can't protect next turn. 
then Hurricane just finishes off our Electrode. That's fine. I think that's a fair trade. Let's see if they went for... I guess they, they either went for Sword Stance or Iron Head. Their other moves are priority. If they went for Iron Head, they're going to do negative 5 damage, and we're going to get another Stamina Boost. So they probably went for Sword Stance, which would also be so that's a great physical. And we can bring in Overquill, which threatens with Throat Chop. Yeah. Yeah, you can't Swords Dance after the Taunt. <laughs> great. Um, I could bring in Pelipper. Uh, we know they have Palafin in the back. But we don't know what the last is. Could be Salamence. I think it should be Salamence. In which case, I actually want Pelipper, so I can get Tailwind up. Oh, it does bring out Palafin, okay. Palafin's gonna go for Haze. That's okay, we can Tailwind. An electro shot. If you're not EV'd to outspeed a timid teleper, you're in big trouble. Like, it's not that hard to catch timid teleper with a palafin, but if you're only EV'd to catch modest teleper, and our teleper is faster, then we get tailwind and electro shot before you can haze away any of our boosts. Uh, there's a Sucker Punch, but nope, we're going for Tailwind. And we get the Tailwind, we are faster. Let's go. Let's go, Timid Pelipper. Yeah. Yes. That's awesome, because Modest Pelipper, I think, hits like 117, which Palafin is just naturally faster than. So you don't need to invest at all. So it must be a very bulky Palafin. But it goes down because we're now at plus three or whatever. Oh, yeah. That feels good. And then was your last Salamence? I think the last should be Sal. It is Salamence. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, is Draco good, or should we play it safe and Electro Shot? We will. It'll be a plus four Electro Shot. That should probably be enough. They are Scarf on Salamence. So yeah, I'm happy to Hurricane. We still have Rain, right? Oh yeah. And electric shot. We get the Sucker Punch on the Pelipper. It does do over half. That's not a surprise. We have no bulk on this Pelipper. They were faster than our Arch anyway, but they missed Draco. Well, we were at full health. That's some bad luck, but even a crit Draco Meteor from Salamence isn't knocking out our Arch Aladon. We're at basically full health. But that's interesting that they were faster. Maybe we, uh... Maybe I should be... This is a pretty slow Archaladon, honestly. Alright, and that should be pretty much game here. Uh, I'll throw a Weather Ball. I'll throw another Electro Shot. And the battle is just cancelled. GG! Archaladon is a beast. Alright, here we are going. Oh, because a Blastoise, High Dragon, Amoongus, Golden Go, Talonflame, and Mamoswine. I'm most worried about the High Dragon. It's Scopelund's Focus Energy. I don't know how I beat that. <laughs> um, I think our Chaladon is good, but a Crit Draco is going to hurt. Uh, and they could set it up pretty easily with Fake Out. Uh, I could Electrode our Chaladon. I could... I'm not going to go Annihilate, because they have, I mean, they have Brave Bird. <laughs> Annihilate isn't going to do anything if they just Brave Bird it with priority. Uh, but I think Electrode Arch could work. I could bring Rilla. I think I need Pelipper, just so I can use Electro Shot. If I get the defense boost, I don't have to worry so much about Mamoswine, but I'll still be worried about, like, Golden Go, so maybe I should bring Overquill something pretty fast, as long as we can match Tailwind at some point. 
we should be good to go with Overquill. But man, this is going to be a tough match. This might be the hardest one. And this is like a win and in. If I win, I'm definitely in. If I lose this, it'll be... That's a neat card. It'll be resistance-based to see if I make top cut, and it's not looking likely. So I think I need to win this. Golden Go Talon Flame. All right. Nasty Plot Shadow Ball Make It Rain, Terra Steel. Whereas the Talon Flame is Tailwind, Brave Bird, Taunt, Flare Blitz, Terra Ghost. I could just bring in Pelipper. I don't think Electro gets me much, but it could Electro Web the Golden Go just for some damage. Electro Web plus Snarl, slow them down and and ah, uh, I don't hate that. I'd be, I'm a little worried about Flare Blitz though. I'm gonna go Pelipper, and I'm just gonna Electro Shot Golden Go. What is this camera angle? <laughs> Put me back inside the restaurant, please. All right. First swap is Electrode. It should be the fastest thing on the field anyway. Into Pelipper. And we set Rain. Any Terrastalization? No. Teleflame just goes for Tailwind. And it's a nasty plot from Golden Go. Okay, that's not surprising. get our Electro Shot. This isn't going to do anything crazy. Uh, I guess Electro Web plus Snarl would have been fine then. I, I was worried about them just going for an attack with Talonflame, but whoo, that's big damage into Golden Go. I don't think they can take my Archaladon here, so I think Pelipper could just protect. They could protect their Golden Go as well, but they don't get much from that. Because I will Electro Shot again. I don't think they can take my Arch. Not this turn. There's Brave Bird into Pelipper. That's fine. They probably want to break the Sash. And then throw a Make It Rain follow-up. Shadow Ball. Oh, Shadow Ball into Arch. Okay. I get it. That does so much with a crit! Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna lose our Chaladon, but I trade for Golden Girl. I don't know if that's worth it. That crit is really bad. Oh no. At 12 HP, anything can knock me out now. If I was still. I, I would still be below half, but. Oh, I can take a hit from Talonflame when I'm around half. I can take a hit from their Blastoids when I'm around half. Their Amoongus, definitely. Well, their Amoongus still probably can't knock me out. High Dragon? I don't know. There's High Dragon, too. Do I have the damage to win this? I don't know. They could double Pelipper, but that would be a massive throw. They don't have spread moves, so I can guarantee Tailwind here, at least. Just to match. And then, my best bet is gonna be try to hit that talon flame. Talon flame taunts us so we can't get our tailwind. That's bad. And they just dark pull to finish off the Alright, that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad. Oh boy. I should have just attacked then. They got me. Oh, I'm tilted from that crit, and now they're, they're, they're punishing me. Okay. What can I still do? Overquill's fast, but probably slower than High Dragon. Definitely slower than Talonflame. While well, they still have Tailwind up, that is. I think I can go Electrode. They don't have Covert Cloak on the Talon Flame, so I might be able to get something done with Electro Web. Their Tailwind is running out this turn. So if I can get an Electro Web down and not go down with my Electrode, that'd be super cool. I think I'll throw a Hurricane at High Dragon. I want to get some chip onto that. What is this camera angle? 
and then I'll throw Electro Web, and I'm pretty sure I need to get both of these off, but they could double Electrode. Uh, there's Brave Bird into our Pelipper. That's not too bad. Breaks the Gale Wings. Draco Meteor into Electrode. Yeah, Electrode's gone. Not looking great, but we are getting over Quill in. And they haven't set up a Focus Energy. And we do half with Hurricane, wow. Alright, Overquill, you're gonna have to win this for us, baby. Last turn of rain is bad. Alright, if we outspeed the High Dragon with Overquill, take it out with Guck Shot. Talonflame could then KO our Pelipper. High Dragon probably also can KO our Pelipper, and we can't protect at the moment. With rain running out. I think we lose this. I'm gonna take out Talonflame. Oh, Talonflame swapped. Okay. Into the goat. Which is Blastoise, no! Alright, I need High Dragon to like miss or do no damage because it's at minus two. There's a Draco, it does not miss. That's gonna be enough on the Pelipper. I don't see a way to win this. Uh, they have a lot of moves that can miss. Dark Pulse doesn't do much damage. They have Body Press and Flip Turn. Muddy Water can miss. Talonflame can't miss, though. They're gonna get a free hit with Talonflame. This is over. It's possible that it's not, because they could always miss Draco Meteors, but this is looking pretty over. I'm gonna click Gunk Shot into High Dragon. I'm gonna get Faked out, and they're gonna click Focus Energy. And they are confirmed faster. We, that means we have to dodge a Draco here. Could also be a speed tie, but it'd be an awkward speed for them to be at. Dodge a Draco. Dodge a Draco. Dodge a Draco. And then hit a less accurate move than Draco Meteor. Yeah, we do not dodge the Draco Meteor. That's gonna be a GG. Well played. That was a good game. I maybe should have not clicked Tailwind when you had Taunt on me, but they, they just played so well. I don't know if I was ever going to beat Blastoise. GG. And we are back. I was 3-2, and I just barely got beat out on Resistance by the host of this tour, Zach. So, I guess that's fair. <laughs> Anyways, Evan made it into Top Cut. So go ahead and check those results, because he's doing Top Cut right now as I record this. But I'm going to go and go to bed. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the team. Rental code's up there for you to try it yourself. Try it when rank comes out, or try it on casual right now. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright. Peace.